<laughs> Hi, Lou White here, again. You ever uh, think about rose-colored glasses? You've heard the phrase. You, you, people see through the rose colors, or the colors that they want to see. Like, hey, what am I looking at here? Uh, and then there's other colors, like this. You just sort of look through them, and that's green, some kind of fluorescent green. And then we get this darker shade. People just look through things the way that they feel comfortable looking. And uh, we have a video about, oh, I don't know, a couple of months ago. And we did this thing called uh, cognitive dissonance, like dissonance. And uh, people have a tendency to uh, shun ideas that are even truth that are against what they've been trained because it causes mental anguish on them and so they have to dismiss it and stay away from it you know they're polarized that's kind of like what people look through they're polarized to accept things to you know operate a certain way and when people see something different they can't handle it well Yahushua's reign that's coming is going to erase a lot of things that men cherish that they love and all the traditions and the things in the grocery stores and the big box stores and uh, the things that they're promoting that support a lot of merchants are actually supporting idolatrous behavior and of course we have a track that is, is called idolatry that you can look up on torazone.net and lamblegacyfoundation.com and download that for free and it will show you the primary function of humanity is to observe idolatrous behavior and its main function is not good. They disobey. Well, people are trained by a teaching authority. And that's what this word means, magisterium. This is my new book that you can pick up at Amazon.com as an e-book or a printed. And it's introducing to you the Nicolaitans. You can spell that N-I-C or N-I-K, Nicolaitan. It means the conquerors of the people. And boy, we've been conquered. All the way back to Nimrod, the first king. The book I want to read to you, though, I, I want to read the back cover of this book. It's called Wormwood. That's in the title of this video, Wormwood. There's things going on that are an abomination to Yahuwah. The back cover is, I'm going to read just a little of this towards the end of this. There's a word in Hebrew called dudaim, which is where we get the word wormwood. And it's a plant that actually causes paralysis. And it, it, that's what the, the, fall, the weeds do, too. The weeds cause paralysis. Weeds of false teachings. You're paralyzed. You can't think. Because all you think about is what you've been taught. And it's not come from Scripture. They shun that. Praying to Yahuwah while living in disobedience to his word is an abomination to him. He says this at Yahshayahu, or Isaiah 8.20. So if you don't obey his Torah, you turn your ear away from that. Your prayer is an abomination to him. He doesn't change. Obedience can never be false teaching. Our main difficulty to receive truth is that teachers guide us away from the word and people live in uncleanness and practice idolatrous traditions. Yahuwah hates these things. Just read Luke 16, verse 14 through 15, and it tells you that. The things that people really cherish are, are abominations to Yahuwah. Wormwood is the alteration of Yahuwah's word. And it produces a bitter attitude toward the idea of obeying his word. That's what you see. Oh, you must be one of those. I don't like that because that's obeying. You must be trying to make your own way. <laughs> no, you're, you're following the instructions. The pagans refuse to obey. And we just have to stop being pagans. Now, you just read Yahu chapter 9, verse 15, and this is the definition of wormwood. It, you see it in the behavior. 
the works of darkness that they don't know are darkness. And read Yirmiyahu 23, verse 15. Now that's Jeremiah, the bullfrog to most of you. Yirmiyahu. Yahusha describes himself as the garden. He's the vine. He is the garden that we're seeking to be in and part of. He's the root. We're the branches. And the branches are sustained by abiding in the root. And that's the living water, which is his covenant, the Torah. You don't hear these things in the, in the circus meetings. It's no wonder that there's so many dried up branches. They lack the living water of life provided by his everlasting covenant of love. Our marriage vows. That's what you do when you go into the water and promise to obey your husband. And he washes you clean and forgives all of your transgressions. They call it baptism. And he washes them away and he forgets them. And you become his wife. He seals you with his name just like a husband does. And so he's got his name on you because you're his property. The back of the book of Wormwood that we talked about. This is a test. Who is who? Now, let me see. There's, uh, there's those who forsake the Torah, and they praise the wrong. And those who guard the Torah strive with them. Now, that's Proverbs 28, verse 4. Read that again slowly. And let's do a little test right now. This is a wormwood test. The question is, who is serving the dragon, and who is serving Yahusha? Test yourself with the evidence. Wormwood is feeding on, or eating, and living by alterations of Yahuwah's word. Pastors and their followers keep repeating that they're not under the law. Of course, what we're talking about is not under the animal blood part. We don't have to sacrifice animals. But we have to obey. He makes us obey. He wants us to. Now, and they also live by the, they don't live by the old law because the commandments were fulfilled by Yahushua for us. The commandments were filled, fulfilled. So we don't have to obey them? No, the blood offerings of animal blood, that's what he covered. And obedience is no no longer required for our deliverance. Oh yes, it is. The rich young ruler, the man that came to Yahushua, he was a young man, and he said, how might I acquire, er, earn eternal life? Well, he's not earning his deliverance, but he, and Yahushua said, obey the commandments, guard the commandments. And the boy said, well, which ones? And then Yahushua said, he referenced that a few of the Ten Commandments. So we know that eternal covenant is the Ten Commandments. That's never going to pass away. Anyway, so why would he say that if that wasn't true? Is it going to change? See, they change his word and they alter it so people can eat wormwood. You know, that's what they're training us with. People who obey are legalists. Oh, my. I'm one, <laughs> and I'm happy, because by knowing, by, by saying, uh, the one who says I know him, but does not guard his commandments, is a liar. First, you who can it? just read that whole thing, especially chapters 2 and 3. Um, now, now if, if people are legalists because they obey the commandments, if that's, if that's the case, then why does the dragon make war with a remnant who guard the commandments of Yahuwah and acknowledge Yahushua, as we read it in Revelation 12, 17? Who does that make us? Which side are we on? The dragons? He wants you to disobey. He's got lots of teachers out there. I just wanted to share that with you. And like I say, you can get either of these two books or, you know, another over 20 books at Amazon.com. 
and they're in ebook form. You can just uh, download them in, in moments, and uh, or you can ha order the printed copy. Thanks for watching this, and we hope that you subscribe here and become a member of the channel. And that's uh, explained in the details in the bottom here, if you want to go look at the description. We'll see you in the next video. Bye.